What is going on, everybody? It is time for another ranking video. I've reviewed all four of the house movies. You can check those out on my channel. I'll leave a link. And with that being said, let's just jump right into this. This will be quick. There's only four movies, and I don't have a whole lot to say about each of them. So best to worst. How about that? Let's change it up. So what is my favorite of the franchise? My number one will, of course, go to the one that I grew up watching. And that is the original. I have nostalgia for this one, but if I'm being honest, I think this really is the best one. It's the best made one. Doesn't feel as cheap as the sequels. And this one has William Cat as Roger Cobb. I like his character. I like his story. He's an author. He's writing about his experience in the Vietnam War. And that plays a major part of the film. And he bumps into his war buddy. Um, I'm blanking on his name right now. Big Ben. Yeah, Ben. And I like the look of Ben at the end, some of the monster effects in here, the creatures that go up the chimney. I thought that shit was scary as a kid. The monster that's dressed like a woman and it goes from his wife to this monster with this weird voice. I thought that thing was creepy. It's just a good horror comedy, and I really like um, some of the jokes in this movie. I like, it's not that funny, it's not hilarious or anything, but I had a couple of chuckles watching it it's definitely funnier to me than part two which tries very hard to be funny and it just didn't land for me but we'll get there uh, this one i really like his neighbor character played by george went like their duo in this film lots of friday the 13th uh actors in here and people behind the scenes steve miner is the director and the, the cinema not the cinematographer the composer harry manfredini I like his score in here it's just a fun movie uh, it doesn't age incredibly well it's not a terrific terrific film it's cheesy it's not for everybody but i enjoyed it the most out of the four so it is my favorite one it is number one for me so moving on from there was my number two uh, that will be the other one with william cat and that is house four the repossession this one definitely feels cheaper and this was a film debut for the uh, director here uh, this one's just very silly. It's tonally we weird. It's very serious at times, a little too dramatic, and then it gets very silly and corny. There's people with blow-up dolls in their bedroom, and they're, like, hitting each other with them, and there's a dwarf puking, like, some kind of weird toxic waste or some shit out of his mouth. It's very out there, just a piece of man. There's just lots of funny little things in it. I like the hallucinations and the little nightmares in it, some of the visuals. And I just, I like the weirdness of it. It's not a well-made movie. None of these really are that great. But this one just has that wackiness flavor to it that I really appreciated. It's more rated R than part two. And it's not as dumb and annoying as part three, uh, in my opinion. So, yeah, I just enjoyed it more. I really enjoyed it surprisingly more. I wasn't that big on it the first time I watched it, but the second viewing did help. So, House 4, give it another shot. It is my second favorite in the franchise. Number three and four, they're basically tied for last because there's some things I kind of prefer about this one over this one. There's some things I prefer about this one over that one. Two and three are my least favorites. So if I had to pick one as my number three, I guess I'll go for part three, the horror show. The one that was going to start a new franchise, the horror show, with a new villain and Janky. Uh, thank God they didn't go that route because Janky is annoying. But what puts this one over part two for me it's just that this one's more radar this one's more for people like me this one's more gory than the other ones this one has k and b effects there's some cool practical effects in here some cheesy some fun there's a very silly execution scene at the beginning that made me laugh but there's lots of fake outs there's a cat scare in this movie come on there's lots of fake outs some dumbass writing it's a very silly script and it's just it doesn't make sense at times and i hate janky his laugh is just so annoying it's an over-the-top performance so that really weighed it down it's not a great movie it's not <laughs> evil is electricity it's so stupid someone in my comments mentioned well what if they gave him the lethal injection or something how would the, how would he come back then i'm sure they would find a way but so yeah number three is house three now moving on from there house two is my my least favorite i guess now uh, but like I said, House 3, House 2, I, I dislike them both e equally. Seen them both twice now, and just didn't like them both times. House 2, what made this movie just all the way down here at the bottom for me is just how not funny it is. It didn't make me laugh once. I didn't smile, nothing. I was just bored watching it. It was way too kid-friendly for me. This is not for people like me. I feel like you should 
you had to, you have to grow up with this one. You have to have nostalgia for it to appreciate it as an adult. I feel, and maybe the comedy works for you today. Maybe it does. it didn't work for me. That's just what weighed it down. It just feels like a very quickly put together script, with just just what the fuck moments in it that don't make sense. The script is just all over the place. And but I like that they keep the continuity of the story going, like a house and portal thing. Like that's gone after this. Like I like that they kept that from part one in here. That there's still a house with portals and other dimensions and stuff like that. I like that they keep that here. I like the Kane Hodder cameo as like a gorilla, stuff like that. But this movie is just not funny to me. The story is not interesting and not well written. So that's why it's all the way at the bottom. I just didn't care for it at all. Never gonna watch it again, unless someone pays me to watch it again for some reason. But I'm just never gonna watch it again. It's my least favorite. House 2, The Second Story. So that is my ranking of the House franchise. Let me know what your ranking is in the comments below where you put each movie and why, what you uh, rate them. Let me know. Let's talk some house franchise down in the comments below. And as always, if you like what you've seen here, you can hit this like button and become a subscriber today just by clicking on my cartoon face in about five seconds. And until next time, Alpha Feeders.